If you don't know what smart objects are, then please pause this video and go watch the video in the description right now. This is a donut. But is it a smart donut? I mean, is it a smart object? No, because there's no smart object icon in the layers panel. So let's right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. Now, if you apply a filter, like Gaussian blur, for example, you will get a smart filter below the layer. But why? What's the value of a smart filter? Why does it exist? What's the meaning of it? What's the purpose? Stop. Well, if you double click on the Gaussian Blur Smart Filter, you can make adjustments to the filter. So you can unblur it if you want. You can also double click on this weird icon next to the filter to change the opacity and blending mode. Let's add another filter. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and let's choose Mosaic. Click OK. And now we have two smart filters applied to one smart object. I can turn off one of them by clicking this eye icon next to the filter or turn off all of them by clicking the eye icon next to the smart filters line. But here's the thing. Photoshop applies smart filters from the bottom up. That means that in this case, we're blurring the donut and then applying a mosaic effect. But if we drag the Gaussian blur smart filter and put it on top of mosaic, then we will be applying mosaic before Gaussian blur. Get it? This is blur then mosaic, and this is mosaic then blur. And this, this is just charm. <laughs> And if you have another smart object, you can press Alt or Option and drag the smart filters to duplicate them. You can drag an individual filter to the trash icon to delete it, or just drag the smart filters to the trash icon to delete them. Finally, you can use this mask thumbnail to mask smart filters, just as you use regular layer masks. You, you don't know how to use layer masks? Yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm too busy now. Go away. But, 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 but. Go away.